Good morning, No Excuses Scholars. It's Friendly Friday, January 21st, 2022. Our last look at this week's college vocabulary word, master's degree. And a degree earned after your bachelor's degree, it's what's called a postgraduate degree. And as Ms. Michelle pointed out, several high grove teachers hold master's degrees in education. I believe even Ms. Michelle does too. And I do, and I wanna show you my diploma. I wanna show you what you get when you get a master's degree. So here's a video. Well, here is my diploma for my master's degree. I went to Walden University, which is a, uh, another college I went to after I went to UCLA. And if you open it up, you can see the certificate. And it says Walden University. It says haven't completed the studies and satisfy the requirements prescribed by the board of directors of Walden University. That's me, Dean A. Deaver, is conferred the degree of Master's of Science in Instructional Design and Technology. So that's what my master's degree is in. So that's what it looks like. And it took me about two years to get this. Very proud of myself. All right. And that thing is actually very large. I don't know if you could tell through the video, but it's actually very big. So master's degree. We are continuing to look at resilience and courage. And in fact, even next week, we're going to be um, honoring people, you scholars who actually have been showing resilience and courage. We almost could give a certificate to everybody because not only you, but the staff members, everybody's been showing resilience and courage. I love this quote by Nelson Mandela and even this little quote by this little kid here. You know, just hanging in there, doing the best you can. We all are afraid, but that never stops us. We just keep going and do our very, very best. So resilience and courage. This may sound like we just uh, are repeating on repeat and repeat and repeat. <laughs> I get it, but please do your best to wear a mask 100% of the time. And again, you have the option of even wearing it outside. I know I do. Um, but also, even when you go to the, to the NPR or you're going to go eat lunch, wear your mask until you eat, eat with the mask off. And then when you're done, put it back on. And again, you're going to be sitting with your classmates. So don't wander off. Don't ask to sit with anybody else, just your classmates. Well, hey, everybody, congratulations. Today is the 100th day of school. Woo! Woo so I think some of you are going to be celebrating it. Some of you are like, hmm, I remember that. But yeah, we've gone, we've been to school 100 days. Does it feel like it? <laughs> Maybe to some. Some of it's just flown by. But congratulations to all of you. That's resilience and courage there as well. So happy 100th day of school at High Grove Elementary. And speaking of the number 100, our Husky 100 Mile Club Challenge, the challenge is the last day is January 28th. The 100 Mile Club is going to keep going for the whole year. So make sure you understand, we're going to keep doing it, but the challenge is January 28th. So come on, get out there on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, and hopefully you had a chance this morning to go put in some laps. And every time you do, you get a little certificate or a little piece of paper to put down your name and hopefully win a cool prize on January 28th. And again, we just want to, again, just congratulate these three top uh, winners. We're so proud of you. And I know some of you uh, will be moving on to the district level and we'll be rooting for you. Yeah. So keep practicing now. And, and us, the rest of us, high growth community, help them get prepared. They need help. And today's lunch. All right. It is chicken nuggets, aloha roll, coleslaw, and raisins. Yummy, yum, yum, yum. It is time for our flag pledge of allegiance, the flag salute. So go ahead and please stand, put your right hand over your heart, and ready begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everyone. You may be seated. Well, here's our joke of the day. Yeah, I, I found this one as well. Let's see if you can get this one. 
This is kind of a family joke here in my family. So how can you tell the difference between an alligator and a crocodile? Hmm. Now there are real differences, but this is a joke. So it's going to be a little silly. But how can you tell the difference between an alligator and a crocodile? Either way, I'm running. I don't care what it is. I'm out of there. So any guesses? What do you think? Let's find out. You will see one later and one in a while. Get it? Get it? So it's see you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Yeah. That's definitely something we, we say back and forth in our family. So, all right, please send me those jokes. I need some. And uh, so you know what to do. Either email it to me or write it down on a piece of paper. And scholars, as always, never stop learning because life never stops teaching. We hope you have a friendly Friday and a wonderful weekend. We'll see you on Monday.